Hey, this is Jeremy from Shine Insurance, and today we're answering a question that I get all the time. In fact, it may be the question that I get the most often over email or phone is, does my auto insurance policy cover a car that I'm renting? Maybe it's for a family trip, or you're just headed somewhere for a little while, or maybe you just need a different kind of car for a little bit, some of those kinds of things. Does my auto policy cover the rental car? And we're going to answer that question for you in this video today. Here's how we're going to break it down. We're first going to talk about like kind vehicles. Then we'll talk about location. Uh, we'll talk about liability coverage, property coverage, and loss of use. Three different types of coverage you need to consider as to whether they extend from your auto policy or not. And then you should definitely stick around to the end because I'll talk about if your policy doesn't have any of these things, doesn't extend out to a rental car, what you should do about it. So let's dig right in. Insurance policies should extend coverage to other vehicles that are like the one that you have insurance on. So if you have insurance, then your insurance policy should extend the coverage limits that you have to a rental vehicle that is like kind. But what does like kind mean? Well, usually that's, you know, personal auto. You have a personal car. That's generally why you're checking this video out. And so, you know, a regular old car. And if you have a personal auto like this one, then the policy should extend coverage to a regular rental car like this one. Now, does it have to be exactly your, like your car? Well, well, no, it could be just exactly like your car. You've got a sedan car and you rent a sedan car, but it extends out to most kinds of regular personal cars as well. So maybe it's a station wagon or an SUV that you want. Even if your regular car is a sedan type car, that's okay. The coverage would still extend in the same way. Maybe it's a sports car that you want to drive. Maybe you want to, you know, have a, a convertible that you want to take down the the coast of California or something, your uh, personal insurance policy should extend to that. Maybe even a personal truck. Maybe you're, you know, just uh, going to the local hardware store to pick some stuff up and you need uh, a truck. And so you rent a truck and that's perfectly fine as well. So a personal auto like kind auto is going to expand to all these types of regular personal auto vehicles. So what would it not extend to? Your personal auto coverage generally will not extend coverage to other types of vehicles. So what are some of those types? Well, a rental truck. Lots of times you rent a truck to move from one place to another. Oftentimes your auto policy will not extend to that rental truck. So I would definitely call my insurance agent and ask. Once in a while, an insurance company will have uh, extension for a rental truck, but not always. Definitely call your insurance company and ask about that one. Motorcycles we would not extend to. An RV is similar to the rental truck. It's definitely one I would call my insurance company about before renting an RV um, and thinking that your auto policy would cover. Uh, a race car, obviously, is not going to have coverage. A Humvee, military Humvee, likely not going to have coverage on your personal auto policy. A jet ski, an ATV, or even a helicopter not going to have coverage on your personal auto policy. So while like-kind vehicles should have coverage when you rent them, other types of vehicles will not have coverage or likely will not have coverage. You can check in with your insurance agent to find out. So that's what like-kind means. You have insurance for a regular car. That policy should extend coverage to a regular rental car. Let's talk about location, where your rental car is going to be. A United States insurance policy generally extends to, I'm in the United States, and so I'm using the United States as an example, generally it extends to the United States and Canada, and sometimes Mexico. If you're going to be going to Mexico, I would suggest that you check in with your insurance agent and ask about coverage in Mexico. Some policies do, some policies don't definitely want to uh, ask your insurance about that. But if you're going over to Europe, say, and uh, you have an American insurance policy, that policy will not extend coverage to you driving in Europe or Australia or, you know, wherever. And that is true for most countries. So no matter where you actually live, your policy likely will cover in your country. And if you're 
For example, in a European co country, it likely will cover throughout Europe. But if you extend beyond kind of the regular space that your car should be in, you definitely want to check in with your insurance agent and make sure that coverage extends along with you. So that's location. Let's talk about the three coverages that matter uh, on your insurance policy and whether each of them extends to a rental car. So the first one is liability coverage. The second one is property coverage. And the third one is loss of use, which is only applies to uh, rental, rental cars. First off, let's talk about liability coverage. Your policy should extend for coverage for bad things that happen to other people because of you. Generally, when you're driving a car, that means you've hit another car and damaged their car or caused injuries to another person with your car. Um, and liability coverage should always extend to a rental car of like kind, of course, um, it, with the coverage limits um, that you have on your policy. So all insurance policies have coverage limits. Hopefully you know what your coverage limits are, and those would apply to a rental car in the same way they would apply to your own car. So that's liability coverage. Property coverage is coverage for damage to the rental vehicle itself. So you're in an accident and that rental vehicle is damaged. Property coverage generally on your auto policy would be for your own, your own car. And this acts in the exact same way. It's going to be coverage for the rental car. If you have it on your policy, and this is where some people get into trouble, if you have an older car uh, as your personal auto, you know, your car, then you may have chosen not to have coverage for that vehicle itself. That's called comprehensive and or collision coverage. Oftentimes it's called full coverage, referred to as full coverage. But you may not have full coverage on your personal insurance policy. If you don't, you've got a problem when you go to rent a car because you don't have any coverage for that rental car itself. That rental car is likely worth, you know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, and you don't have coverage on your policy for that car itself. So if you don't have full coverage on your car, um, then watch out for that when you go to rent a car because you have a serious gap in coverage for that rental car. Um, so that's property coverage. And of course, your deductible will still apply just like it would on your personal auto. One last thing. This is kind of a tiggy one. And sometimes, um, well, let's just dig into it. The loss of use is when the, the rental company can't rent out a car because it's been damaged in an accident that you were driving it. So you're driving a rental car you get in an accident, that car is damaged, it's gonna take some time to get that car fixed and everything taken care of. That period of time, the car is out of rotation and can't make any money. So sometimes uh, rental companies will say, well, we're gonna charge you for the loss of use or the lost income for that period of time that it was out of rotation. And a lot of them will use this to confuse you and convince you to buy their expensive rental car insurance even though you know that your policy extends, you've talked to your agent, does it cover loss of use? And then you become confused because you're not sure. And the answer is confusing, to be quite honest. Uh, you know, if, if this charge is applied in an accident, accident, your regular insurance policy may cover it under the liability part of the policy. If you really want to know, check in with your insurance agent and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to rent a car in a couple of weeks. Um, I want to know if I have coverage, and I want to know if my policy covers loss of use. Oftentimes, it will cover under the liability part of the policy. But this is something that more and more rental car companies have been trying to get money for. And most companies, most insurance companies, are fighting this as an undue charge, an unfair charge, and just not a fair thing to do. And rental companies don't really have the ability by law yet uh, to... Fight this. In fact, some states have even made it illegal to charge loss of use on a rental car. Other states have not, but when the uh, insurance company fights back, there's kind of a, a back and forth there. So there's not a clear answer. Loss of use is a little gray, um, but in general, either a rental company won't charge it, an insurance company will cover it, or it can be fought and the rental companies don't have a whole lot of backing legally to be charging that fee to you. So 
Hopefully you'll never be in that situation, but that's loss of use. And if they say, hey, well, your insurance policy doesn't cover loss of use, at least you understand what they're trying to do there and what that all means. Okay, so what if your policy doesn't have coverage? Through this video, we've talked about the right, all the different things. And if it turns out your insurance policy doesn't have the right coverage, what do you need to do? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. You talk to the rental company about it and purchase their temporary insurance policy. Make sure it's set up properly. Take all the time you need to talk to them about it. But if you don't have coverage on your personal auto policy, then you obviously want to purchase theirs so you're not left without coverage while you're driving a rental car. All right. What did we learn in this video? We covered like kind vehicles, personal auto vehicles, location where your car insurance policy covers and where it doesn't the liability coverage, property coverage, and loss of use, the three different coverages that you should consider when renting a car. And finally, um, oh, well, that was it. All right, uh, if you wanna check out some other Shine videos, we've got some great ones on our channel. First, it's the New Home Buyer's Guide. This is a great video and series of interviews and videos all about buying a home. If you're considering buying a home or are a first time home buyer, it is a must check out playlist on our channel. Five steps to a homeowner's claim if you're interested in how claims work on the homeowner's insurance side. And finally, how not to light a bonfire, just some poor decision making we can laugh at a little bit in our No Insurance For You series. So those are some Shine videos you want to check out. If you want some insurance and feel like we could maybe help you out, do you live in Indiana, Ohio, New York, or Florida? That is where Shine Insurance can help you out. Do you want a true advisor, someone who's actually going to help you walk through insurance take care of you along the way, find you the best companies, the best prices, and the best coverage. Um, if that sounds good to you, then that's great. Check us out at shineinsurance.com. And finally, last step, as always, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and uh, share this video out in social media. Good information is only great if it's shared with others. All right, until the next time, have a wonderful day.